Welcome to the house tour. Long time coming, I hear you say. So I'm just gonna do internally, uh, initially. External, I've still got a fair bit of work to do. I've got to top the driveway. I've got some landscaping to do uh, on the additional piece of land that I've purchased, but that hasn't quite gone through legals yet. Got a little bit left to finish in the back garden, uh, but the inside is virtually there. It's Friday the 13th, so I'm moving in over the weekend. So uh, slightly behind schedule, but um, quite fortunate that I don't have to sort of get out of my house just yet because uh, I'm keeping hold of it. So uh, I'm currently still in the hallway. So uh, I'll give you a bit of a tour uh, and show you some of my favorite pieces of the house and some of the bits I wish I had changed. So here we go. So this is the front door. This is a stable front door. So as you can see, it's in two halves. So you can open up the top half uh, in, you know, separately, uh, which is quite good because I've got a dog. So, you know, it's quite uh, convenient. Uh, excuse a couple of the wires. So this is for uh, eventually when I'm gonna have a gate out the front and, um, you know, control intercom, etc., that kind of thing. So got a top of the range heating system, um, Valiant, um, installed by a good friend of mine. He's done my last few projects. Uh, air source heat pump, I've got no gas here and uh, I didn't want oil so I went with air source heat pump which is you know uh, very uh, efficient and should save me a bit of money in the long run. So um, underfloor heating throughout the entire ground floor, slightly weird having no radiators, uh, I've never had underfloor heating so uh, that's going to take a get, bit of getting used to. Downstairs loo, I'll show you in here, it's a nice, you know, nice size really. So downstairs loo, so little towel radiator, double vanity unit, uh, toilet, we all know toilet. So everything is soft close, half height tiling. I actually like half height tiling in the, in the downstairs toilets. It's what I've got at uh, home and that's what I like um, uh, just as a standard look anyway, I'm not a big fan of full height. So rocker, sanitary wear, uh, which is, you know, decent standard. Consumer unit, nicely tucked away in the downstairs loo. Uh, so got different tiles on the wall to uh, what I've got on the floor. So just to, just to add a little bit of contrast. But that's the mega exciting downstairs loo. So as you come into the hallway, cupboard on the left, which is where my manifold is for my underfloor heating. Uh, nothing exciting in there. So I've got a door into the kitchen. I've gone with fire doors throughout. I didn't have to, uh, I did in certain places, but just fire, fire doors give you that little bit more of a upper sort of standard, really, a, a better feel, a bit classier, if you like. So into the living room. So the bay window, that's one of my regrets, is the bay window. I wish I'd squared it off. As you can see, it's quite narrow. Um, blocks quite a bit of, of light, but I can't change that now. I could, but it'd be a significant amount of work. So you swing round, I've gone with the double doors uh, into the, the sort of kitchen dining area. Uh, I've got to finish the top rail just across here, which a good friend of mine who's been doing the carpentry is sorting for me. Uh, but really pleased with them doors. Uh, there was a lot of effort for the chippies in the end uh, because it was an afterthought and I could have done a lot better. Uh, probably going to end up with having them open uh, majority of the time, I would say. Um, but again, a, a fire door internally. Plenty of zone control for the underfloor heating. So I've virtually got a zone in every room. So obviously, you know, the living room, then I've got one out here in the hallway. There's one in the kitchen, there's one in the utility room, just to give me complete flexibility. But a decent sized space hallway. I'm gonna have something put under the stairs and get a chippy to make some, I don't know, shoe racks or whatever you, you, wanna, you wanna put in there really. Um, little window for a bit of light. And then my favorite room of the house is the kitchen. So let's have a look. So here it is, not quite finished. Still got the splash back to do, which I'm going with a brick effect. Uh, so that's just the first course of bricks over there. Uh, I'll let them, I've stuck them to the wall, let them go off, now I can tile the rest. And I've got to tile the windowsill. Not entirely sure what I want to do with that just yet. Bifold doors onto the garage, 2.4 opening. 
so quite quite a decent size. Um, and then when you look round, so this is the view from the other side into the living room where I just was. So probably gonna, like I said, probably gonna end up with these doors being open the majority of the time. Got a nice big space at the end of the island here. Not entirely sure what we're gonna do here, whether I'm gonna have a sofa, whether I'm gonna have a dining table or not, but I've got this huge island. Uh, I, was, <laughs> I was concerned it wasn't big enough initially, but as you can see, it's a lump of an island, it really is. So I had the, the cupboards here in the storage space set inward so I can have a couple of stools here and then obviously I've got an overhang just here for, for more storage, uh, for more stools, sorry. So this kitchen is from Parlour Farm. Incredible, it's handmade, it's hand painted. Fire on ball paint. It's just, it, it just really is, it's incredible. The attention to detail is just something else. You got the oak cutlery drawers and then a couple of little you know bits and pieces like we got a spice rack that kind of thing we got one on the opposite side of the oven we under hard about the oven i wanted silver i wanted silver a bit more like the fridge but um my wife wanted cream I think she's right um this is obviously the extract up here uh, we've got a couple of glass cupboards either side uh, we wanted it sort of a, as a bit of a feature um, and we've got lighting available in there i haven't had them installed because we we thought better of it but i can have lights in there if i want to um, nice big corner cupboard here with the trays that pull out so again good use of storage uh, recycling Nice and neat in there, out of the way. My sink, I absolutely love my sink. Very traditional looking. Loved the wooden worktop. Wasn't, was gonna go sort of granite, but I just wanted the sort of traditional feel. And it just, I think it looks incredible. I just, I know I've got to oil it. I know I've got to look after it, but I think it's worth the look, to be honest with you. And I think when I've got the brick effect, Splashback, which I know I'm gonna to have to varnish. I know, I know the downside of it all, but I think it will complement it really nice. And eventually you're gonna have the fireplace put in. The fridge freezer, wow, what a beast that is. So it's got a water dispenser, chilled water. It's also got an ice maker in the freezer. So it makes your, makes your own sort of ice and cuts it off when, when the ice tray is full. So doubles door open, open like this. So it's got Wi-Fi and stuff, which I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with a fridge with Wi-Fi, to be perfectly honest with you. But I'm very pleased with that. Again, nice bit of storage above the fridge freezer area and plenty of storage around here as well. Uh, so very, very pleased with the kitchen. So the kitchen uh, was probably the toughest thing we had to make a decision on. Uh, the colour we wasn't sure on. The worktop we wasn't sure on. One thing we were certain on was the supplier and the design. The design's really, really quite well thought out. Everything's sort of positioned in mind of how you might operate in the kitchen and how you might live. Uh, so it really glad I went with the green, which was my choice. Um, my wife sort of favoured um, like a white creamy colour, but I've got a big dog and he's messy. Um, and we just thought it'd get too dirty and then we actually bought a sample to the house and we put it in here and it's a completely different colour. So really, really pleased, really pleased with the worktop and the, the installation and the service from Parlour Farm, who were based in Sirencester, was, was honestly second to none. The, the, the gentleman that fit this kitchen, he could not have cared any more for this kitchen if it was his own. It was, it was truly uh, an art form his installation um, and it, it really is beautiful very very happy with this um, and we had to make some sacrifices along the way in it to, to get this into the budget and compromise on um, some other areas of the house uh, but super happy that we made this decision so that's pretty much the downstairs uh, i'll take you upstairs now 
Um, my ensuite is another area which I'm incredibly pleased with. Turned out just so well, just blown away. Um, and the quality of the tiling throughout the house and, and the plumbing um, is, is second to none. So we'll go upstairs and have a look and uh, see what we think. Oh, almost forgot, before we go upstairs, have a look at utility room. Hardly the most exciting, but hey ho. Here we go, here it is. Nice little utility room. Might not seem like a lot, but it's quite important to me given, given the size of my stupid dog. So this door here, the fire door, goes into my integral garage. So here we've gone with a standard Helden's kitchen. I've got to put the upstand round there. Kind of temporary for a minute, just until um, I've got some more money and I can get the rest of the parlor farm kitchen put in here. Nice big um, towel radiator, which I wanted because with no radiators on downstairs, I've, you know, hanging up coats and things for when I come in for the dog walk and stuff like that. So again, plenty of controls for the, for the water and uh, the electric. So these are dual dual heat so I can have them running if the heat is not on just switch them on with the electric or they can just come on with the heating again a little control in here for my dog so he can be nice and cozy so right let's go upstairs I'll show you my bedroom I'll leave my bedroom till last ignore the mess outside not you can see it um, I did want uh, glass up here but I'm glad I didn't uh, just glad would have went standard to all stairs and um, you know a bit of oak, oak capping which is all right uh, here excuse the mess I had to take this access panel off so here an access panel so you can probably see the join across here that's because the plumber will need to get in there at some point servicing things like that so uh, but I've got some artwork and stuff that I'm going to put on there. So this is the smallest bedroom. This is bedroom three. Um, sorry, bedroom four, I suppose. Uh, but this is going to end up being my YouTube studio, stroke office, stroke home office. So it's all right, little room. Got a little bit of storage space in the cupboard there. Um, but yeah, it's cool. I like this room. It's all right. It's going to put some good ideas. But super cool to create some content in there. Uh, so across into my daughter's bedroom. Nice big double bedroom. Decent size. Um, I've had all the sockets for the TVs raised up. And I've also had the Cat5 cable and put in. So, you know, the Wi-Fi. It could just be plugged straight from the Wi-Fi. It would be plugged in downstairs straight into the back of TVs and stuff. Plenty of sockets. Uh, South explanatory, really. This is the... Uh, my son's bedroom or what will be my son's bedroom for when he comes and stays with his girlfriend and what have you um, he's got a nice little view out into the woodland so nice nice decent decent sized room this uh, but get a, easily get a double bed uh, in here no problem whatsoever it's the family bathroom uh, again double vanity unit I went with a P-shaped bath just to get my daughter a little bit more room so P you can see why so tiling again upstairs we've gone different tiles to downstairs um, but the same on the floor and on the wall so uh, got the rainfall effect shower head and then obviously you've got the, the handheld one if you, if you want to uh, but yeah straightforward bathroom really uh, towel rail again nice big one um, just to put all the towels and stuff on um, let's go right let's go into my bedroom so here's my bedroom let's have a look at my view so looks very nice and green at the moment so that's, my, that's the view from my garden which is quite nice I've got a decent sized garden it's not quite there I will give you an update on that little bit in a few weeks put it that way so originally when the house was designed the garage was actually set into the back garden a little bit because I needed a certain distance from my garage to the highway to pass planning or pass highways so I asked my architect if I could move the garage forward um, but it breached highways so what we done is we changed the garage from an up and over to a roller shutter 
and highways approved it said no problem bring your garage forward so now the garage is flush with the back of the house which created a lot of room above my double so i've got a double garage imagine how much space is above that so i decided to put my ensuite in there and what was my ensuite in the first design is now my walk-in wardrobe walk-in's a bit strong but hey i'll show you now so originally this bedroom this room here was originally going to be the ensuite and i also had a cylinder in 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 my bedroom but uh, after talking to my plumber i got it stuck in the roof so that was a good shout there so that's now a walk-in wardrobe again this is for cctv my alarm system and stuff which is yet to be finished so then i ended up with this beautiful you know space which is now my fortunately my ensuite so his and hers um, sink and vanity unit double vanity unit ended up with a nice big shower tray and i ended up with uh, a freestanding bath and a freestanding tap i mean this room is just it's just incredible it really is it's turned out so well and i'm so pleased we were surprised at the size of the room once the trusses were delivered and we had the space to work in. So my plumber rang me and said, you need to meet me out here. We need to use this space better than we are. And he came up with this. So it's, it's incredible. A little bit of jiggery pokery getting the, the shower door in because uh, as you can see, the apex of the roof comes down. Uh, but we've got his and hers towel rails uh, and then a little Velex for when you're in the bath and you want to see the stars so absolutely phenomenal space i absolutely love it and i can't wait to to get in it and use it i haven't had a bath for about 20 years i'm a shower guy so but it's just it just really is incredible again fire door just gives you that just that little bit more feeling of luxury a uh, little bit of an alcove down there which i'm going to put some I don't know, you utilize that space. Um, again, we've got the rainfall, rainfall at the top of the shower, and then we've got the handheld. Still needs a bit of a clean, still a bit dirty. Um, nice flush plate, flush with the wall. So this room has just ended up phenomenal, it really has. I'm fortunate enough to have a wardrobe, and the, and the bedroom's huge as well. The bedroom's huge, it really is. So nice big double bed in the middle. Got the TV sockets on the wall uh, for, for so I can get it up out of the way. And um, yeah, fortunate. I mean, my, my bedroom at home is actually quite small to sort of wiggle around a bed. I've got a king size bed, I've got a super king. So it'd be nice to get it in here and actually be able to walk around your bed without doing, doing the crap. So this is it. Can't wait to move in. Nearly there. Got the champagne on ice and. Uh, yeah it's been a long time coming but uh, super pleased so i'll go through externals in a couple of videos times and and then i'll go I, I will go through the numbers of how much it's cost to borrow the money to build the house uh the the whole shooting match i've got nothing nothing to hide um i'll tell you guys uh, exactly what it's cost me and hopefully inspire someone else to do it because it's got to be every sort of tradesman dream to build a house and uh mine's just come true so uh incredibly grateful for all the support i've got from my wife my mum and dad my mate tim the plumber my mate mikey the chippy uh all of them guys have contributed to delivering a fantastic home for me which um i can't wait to share with my family and uh, hopefully create some some good memories so i've been in my old house for 17 18 years so it's going to be a bit of a a bit of a an emotional day i think when we shut the door on that for the last time but anyway you can't stand still um because otherwise you just get passed by and life is short and you only get one one shot of this so thanks for watching hope you enjoy the house tour uh, i will get onto the externals i promise and i will like i said share the numbers so for me Peace and love. I'll see you next time out.